So welcome. So in this video, we will discuss about an inventory program that represents a product database using a structure type. The program can only be able to accept a minimum of five products. The program will be able to load all existing products from the text file. And before the program ends, it will be able to store to the text file. Also, all existing products can be updated. The program allows the user to do any of the following tasks. Allow also the user to repeat or do several tasks, which is the input new product record, edit a product, delete a product, display all existing product, make a purchase, display the product record with the highest sale, display all the product with zero quantity, and exit the program. So, this, before that, we will go to the codes first. So we're here in the main function. So in the main function, it will display of what the user wants to do. He or she wants to do will be able to choose among which one he or she wants to do. I'm sorry. Um, so we declare um, into their cho choice in which um, if the user, um, if, which the user will choose which one of these he or she wants to execute. So in the switch, in the case one, it go, um, it the, um, we use switch for the condition if if she wants to input a new product, it will be case one, which is add product. Case two for edit product. Third is delete the product. Case four is display the products. Case 5 is make a purchase. Case 6 to display the highest sale. Case 7 display lowest sale. And case 8 is to exit. So if the user have input um, a wrong um, choice, it will display your choice is wrong. Please try again. So it will not accept values that are not declared in the function. So let's go to the declaration here, the global declarations where everything starts. So we have, so in the global declaration, you have to use the first standard input output, which is this one. We can use this header declaration since it contains definition of standard input output built in functions such as printf, um, scanf, get, car, and more. So the next one is the include string that h because it contains definition of built in functions for string manipulation such as sterling string. In this program, we're just not using header declaration, but also constant declaration. For those values are fixed, in that way, it makes our program accessible and understandable to all, especially for those beginners. Well, I'm declaring define true and define false one. So to declare this, you have to make use of the syntax to define constant declaration, which is define identifier identifier value true and false is our identifier this one while 0 and 1 is our boolean values since we're learning how to make program for our inventory i make use of structure this one so if you ever don't know what a structure is structure is a collection of variables of any data type so you have to declare struct product. We name it struct product. Then different data types and variables. This one, which is character ID, which consists 10 for product code number, character name, which is 20, product name, integer quantity, remaining quantity of product, which it subtracts from the original quantity, the quantity purchase, integer number of sold items, Next is float price, price of one piece of product, integer discounts, discount for this product, 
for the products. And next is float sales, accumulated sales, total sales for the product. So, so in this function, um, you have to declare what are the important things that are needed for your program. So these are the important things because they, these are the things that we want the user to see in our inventory program. So after the first structure, in this area below, to input the maximum array of elements, so my maximum product is 50, uh, 30, as you can see, maximum array elements. You can only enter at least 30 products, then it will be incremented if there is a new product. To save the file, you have to use the file pointer, this one. Then write the file function. So to open this file, you have to declare f equals open, open, um, close open parenthesis, inventory.txt, w. So, um, program exists if file pointers return null. Else, then the product for loop will go into execute. In this program, you are writing all the details from the function to the text file. Here, writing the details to the text file. After that, you will be going to close the program by declaring f close in order to close the file. Since the function is an integer, it will be going to return any value. So the second function is to read file. Read file function. You have declared the local variables for you, for you to enable to, un, to return the program to the values of n. So you may have integer integer n as zero, i for iteration. Then you have to input f gets product i that id comma ten f in order to iterate and get the product id that located on line number 10 of the pointer f then you have to remove new lines so since the name and id are the only ones declared as character then the process is the same in the following um execution and those who are declared as float integers you have to to save them in a different way, which is f scan f, the file pointer percent d, and the product quantity. So for float it is f, and for integer it's d. So since we already write everything that is needed and we can read the file, then in the fourth function we will um display the products all fields with zero quantity so zero quantity then you will call the read function after that and it will go to display the highest product so in the fifth function we're going to display the product with the highest sale sale function since we have to display the highest sale you have to declare the a local variable which is integer high and also we have to enter it using integer i variable. Then you have to address high variable equal to the product of numbers sold, which is initialized by zero. Getting the first element value that has been sold, then you make use of for loop, initialized by zero. So for loop, we're going to use the for loop for the number of items being sold. If the element contains the highest sold product, it will pass on the high variable. Since the first loop is being executed, it will directly display the highest product sale. Then the second loop will going to search which product contains the number of highest sold product. If only the condition is true, it will be exe executed and it will display the highest product. So in the sixth function, which is the function for purchasing a product, Input the product product's ID purchased by a customer and the quantity purchase. Compute for the sales of this purchase and, you, and add to it. 
at the returning sales of the product purchase. In this function, you have a local variable integer, integer quant, and um, that means quantity and inter, integer z, i, may assign for to address um, uh, false. Then the program will be going to display the um, I use I use flush in this function the purpose of this is to clear to clear the output and buffer and move the buffer data to console as always you have to use for loop since for loop repeats this one It tests the condition before executing the loop body. If the ID the user wants to find in the data ID that has been saved at the file is match, then if the item is found, then display the highest um, display the display the highest product sale. Then the second loop will be going to search which product contains the number of sold. If only the condition is true, it will be executed and will display the highest product. So, so in the seventh function is delete prod or the function for delete product. Um, you have to make a function that can delete a product by entering the product ID of the user you want that to delete. The following are the local variables that may necessary for this function. The program will let the user enter the ID that he or she wants to be deleted. So um, then flush std to erase recently input products then they get the string ID user entered another loop another loop is used in function of the finding the user's input if the condition is true means the user's input data have match we use strcmp to compare product id another loop used in which it will erase what user wants to delete but if false this one it will be executed in the num in the program will be going to display the product can't fix so next is the eight function which is the new product record which is the add prod add products to the file so input all fields except the sales in short function to add products to the file the program lets the user enter new products and once entered file, will directly read it. Then check if the ID is already used. Else, the program will display product ID information of the products, which is name, this one, quantity of the product, this one, price of the product, this one, item discount. So, then increment here, Increment count for the product's position and how many are they in the array. After reading the file, then we will use again string to compare the ID numbers to know if the ID is already taken or not. So next is the editing product function. In this um, part is we're going um it will be edit the function product or the products that we want to edit they were going to test declare test i and choice this one this part the user will input a data to be changed then we make some important condition for the first to test it if the data is empty then if the given data is not empty then the condition will be executed So, so lastly is the um, 
is pay all existing product records in which um, we will see what the user have input in the file so first thing to do is initialize main functions also choice um, then we're going to declare count let's read file on this part we're going to read all the items in the file and then we're going to test all the items by condition if count is less than zero then less than zero then af then um then after we're going to declare the in an infinite loop it will display first using infinite loop allow the user to choice what he or she wants to execute in the program if the user entered out of the choice then the program will tell the user to input again since the program is infinite other than the, the program display so thank you for um being with me in this tutorial or for me to introduce my inventory program i hope you have understood and enjoy that's all thank you